In this video we'll go through adding a modal to bricks, with a number of triggers. The modal element can be added to any page or template where it's needed. We want to display it site-wide, so let's add it in the footer. By default, the content inside of the modal can be edited directly on the page. We can change the text and use dynamic data. In a future update, nesting elements inside the modal will be available. The third option is to import a template to appear as the modal content. For now, we'll stick with the text editor. The modal has a backdrop which takes up the full screen. We can change the color here. We can hide the modal in the builder at any time, so we can work on the rest of the page. We'll look at the trigger options shortly. For the size and positioning, we can change the modal width and the position on the page. Let's move it away from the edge of the viewport. and add some padding to the content. There's a built-in close button that can be customized. We can style the button. We can also change the animation by changing the positions, which we'll look at more closely later. Let's replace the modal content with a template we have saved. We no longer need this content padding. Now let's set up a trigger. Each trigger has a name and a type. We can use multiple triggers. Let's see it on the front end. After half a second, the modal appears. 
We can't really see the button, let's style it. We can move it to the edge. Clicking the backdrop will also close the modal. Let's try a different trigger type. When the user first attempts to exit the page, the modal will show. We'll make it so that hovering over this image triggers the modal. We'll give it a class. And then use this class as a trigger. Now both of these triggers are active. We can set the modal to only show once per visit. If they hover over the image the modal shows. But now leaving the page does nothing. Or if they attempt to leave the page first, the modal shows, but then hovering the image does nothing. The modal only shows once. There are nine trigger types that can all be used together. We can also control how often the user would see the modal. And set a time limit before the triggers are active again. Let's look at the animations. By default, the modal starting position is slightly down the page. The end position is slightly up.
we'll make it slide in from the right. For the close, we'll scale it down. And there we have our animated modal element.